thrilled to bring in the head coach of Brighton, Roberto Deserbi. Roberto, welcome to Morning Footy. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. So we've got a, a pretty exciting trip coming up for you. You're going to be stateside. You'll be hitting Philadelphia, Atlanta, New Jersey. What's your experience in the States? Have you been here before? No, never. And I'm excited to, to come in the United States. And uh, to, to, logically, I will come to work uh, to, to improve my team and to and to play the friendly game, important friendly game. And uh, it will be a great experience, I think. Roberta, what about Europe for next season? The results on the pitch for the summer series are going to be important leading up to a European season. That must be very exciting. You had some European experience with, with Shakhtar Donetsk. What's the vibe like the atmosphere around Brighton with this team in the Europa League? But it's difficult because it's the first time for for us. Uh, we are a new new club in um, in Europe. Uh, uh, we have to adapt. We have to understand uh, very fast. Uh, it will be a very tough season, but exciting uh, season. No, uh, we have a lot of motivation, uh, and we we want to compete in our type in our style with our quality um, yeah when you say adapt what do you need to adapt specifically in Europe what are some of the challenges that are presented but to adapt uh, in terms of uh, to play three games per week uh, to, to play first day in Europe and to, to forget uh, for the for the, the next game in Premier League there are, they are two different competitions. Uh, we will compete in four competitions, more FA Cup and the um, Carabao Cup. And we need uh, 20 players. 20 players able to play in every competition. And we have to adapt uh, because there, there are different uh, week of work. No? Uh, Roberto, I want to ask about your playing style. I know, or at least your, the style of play that your Brighton has. Um, it's been talked about a lot. I'm personally a big, big fan. I actually voted for you as my uh, coach of the season for the Premier League, uh, manager of the season. And uh, the style that you have where your center backs will put their studs on the ball and wait for the attackers to come and press to create space, but also be very attacking sense and very direct after that. Where did that come from? Is that something you developed or you saw when you were starting to play? Because I know you kind of played it in Sassuolo as well. Where did that come from? Because it's very impressive. Congratulations, because you are ready to start to be a, a coach, eh? I, <laughs> listen, I'll, can I do my licenses with you? <laughs> you are, you are, um, you are ready, yes. No, uh, I'm, I'm still studying uh, football, no? Uh, I change depending on the players, depending on the, the, the league. Uh, I'm working, uh, but uh, yeah, the main sense is to play with uh, the, the opponent pressure, because uh, if you want to score, you have to um, to go to to shoot uh, without opponent and to el eliminate uh, opponent. Uh, you have to you have to play, uh, but uh, you know without the quality of players, uh, the, the coaches can't uh, win and can't be important. Okay. Interesting. Roberto, now that you, you're speaking to your translator, I imagine, um, as a foreign manager, for example, we saw Bielsa that uh, spoke through a translator to his players. For you, as an Italian English not being your first language, and usually in England, for some reason, people are very critical of those who don't speak English. But, you know, you've managed to translate that emotion and, and, and the tactical knowledge to your players. How has that been? for you and, and has it presented a challenge this year? Well, I can tell you my opinion and my idea. I think uh, with the, the press conference, uh, with the journalist in press conference, with the, 
with the player when uh, we are uh, one to one is right uh, to speak in uh, English because I'm working in another country. I'm working not in I'm not working in my country and I can't uh, speak Italian. But uh, when I when I have a meeting with the with my players, I speak in Italian with my translator because I want to be clear and I want to uh, achieve my my goal. And my goal is to transfer my emotion, my idea, my 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 style of play, my style of life uh, to my players. No, and I can't. Uh, lose time in the meeting and I want to arrive uh, immediately. Well, Roberto, uh, Brighton is definitely a, a club on the rise in terms of, of profile. And in, in the States, there are, there are teams like Manchester United and Arsenal and Liverpool that have massive amounts of following. But for Brighton, maybe one of the, the smaller clubs, how important is it to get that that global lens and gain more American fans, especially utilizing this summer series as an opportunity. No, I think uh, uh, generally we can't compete against uh, um, City, Liverpool, Arsenal, uh, Chelsea, Newcastle now. But uh, you know, uh, football is is, uh, is great. Uh, because uh, the the game start uh, nil nil, and uh, you have to 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 deserve to win a game, no? Uh, and we love uh, dreaming. We love uh, to fix in our head uh, uh, the big targets uh, and to compete to reach the Europe League. For us, is a uh, is like a, a win a Premier League, a win a Champions League. Uh, but we know we are Brighton. We know we are uh, not so big, uh, but we are strong. Uh, for uh, Roberto, for this summer series coming up, obviously there's a lot of fans in the U.S. that are going to be looking forward to see Brighton play and some of the some of the big names on the team. But how how similar do you think it will be how you can play in this preseason compared to what they're going to see in the regular season in the Premier League? Um, I think uh, at the moment uh, we are not uh, the Brighton crew yet. No, uh, we are waiting a lot of uh, national players uh, as a Casado. Uh, Mitoma, Ferguson, uh, and Chiso arrived um, two days ago, and we are working. But uh, in this part of the season, it's not important the results. Most important is to um, improve, to improve our uh, physical condition, uh, and to, to arrive uh, at the beginning of the season in the in the best condition in the August and September uh, will start the the season the tough season uh, in the new, in September will uh, start the Europe League and uh, in that moment we have ready well Roberto you've been working a lot you can tell even managers like Pep Guardiola have said that you are one of the most influential managers in the last 20 years. That must be a credit to your work. How does that make you feel personally? Well, I don't know. Uh, Pep is a, is a friend, he's a good man. Uh, he helped me a lot at the beginning of my time in uh, in Premier League, and I can't forget him, and I, I can't forget it. Um, I I try to to give my idea. I I try to to enjoy with my my work. It's my my passion, um, and then you know uh, the result can change everything. No, if you win, uh, you are a good uh, coach, and you. You are working well, but uh, it's not like this because uh, uh, the results are different than 
the quality of your work. Well, Roberto, we very much appreciate your time and look forward to welcoming you to the States. Uh, safe travels to you and the whole team. Thank you. All right, Thank you let me know much. if you want me to swing by and be your assistant coach. <laughs>